and welcome to episode three of Twisted Tech TV. I'm Kevin. I'm Swan. Swan, let's talk about web page editors today. I used to use some uh, really robust uh, web page editors and um, graphic editors. Uh -huh. um, I use programs like Dreamweaver and GoLive. Ah, these are what we call WYSIWYG editors. What you see is what you get. Yeah, precisely. When I started out, I knew nothing about web coding, and so I preferred more of a graphical way of laying stuff out. So um, with these programs, they allowed you to do just that. I can set up two images and move them around where I want on the page and set up blocks of type and move those around where I want on the page and set colors and whatnot. And bold do all bold this word if you want to or italicize mm -hmm. that word if you want to. Yeah. What's the uh, user on the street going to pay for a copy of uh, Go Live or Dreamweaver? Well, um, if you have around $1,000, um, that's probably what you'll need. Uh, if you get these programs standalone, both these programs are about $700 to $800. The way they priced it, I think that's what they're encouraging people to do. They want people to get the suite instead of standalone programs. Okay. Any less expensive options that I can pursue? Maybe mm. something free. Well, uh, this will be perfect. Uh, this one is free. Um, InView is a good editor that you can use. You uh, have to download the Mozilla browser, and I'm talking about the whole Mozilla suite. Okay, so not Firefox, but Mozilla, the, the big dog. Yes. Uh -huh. Download the Mozilla suite, install that on your computer, and install InView and um, all your WYSIWYG components will work within the uh, Mozilla browser window. Okay, but Swan, notepad? Yeah, notepad. Okay, I have my reasons. Okay, let's hear them. Okay, so it's faster for me simply to use the tag. So I'm gonna use the text editor. I know Go Live and um, Dreamweaver, they have the code view. And it's nice, it's color coded and everything, it has everything I need, but who wants to wait five minutes for your program to load just so you can edit a few lines of code? Not me. Yeah, not me either. I think I can help you out here, Swan. Okay, you like the syntax highlighting in the code view in these expensive editors. And you, and you like Notepad because it's, and it's lightweight and it's just text. Yes, no performance hit and I'm not waiting five minutes for it to load. What if you could get the lightweight similar to Notepad and you could get the syntax highlighting? Well, I say that'd be great. Tell okay. More. Well, it's built in Java, uh, and that's what the J in the beginning is for, is, is for Java edit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I actually use it for editing Java files. You use Apache, right? Oh, for, yeah. your, for your web server? I do uh, config file um, modifications all the time. Okay, well, JEdit comes with a syntax highlight mode for Apache config files. Hey, that'll come in handy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought you would like that. Uh, JEdit is also very conf configurable. Um, you can write macros for it. Uh, there's, um, you, you can do, you can create extra syntax highlighting templates for it. It also comes with lots of free pro, uh, plugins. Mm -hmm. I do find a couple of minor distractions with JEdit. Weird shortcuts like Control E followed by Control X, which does something, or Control E followed by Control S. And, Weird. And, you know, so you're, <laughs> you're hitting keys on both sides of the keyboard well, simultaneously? Well, not at the same time. You, you basically do the one, uh -huh. and then you do the second one. So, okay. so the first one kind of is a prelude to the, the actual shortcut. Oh, key. I see. Okay. That's still kind now, of strange. You, you, don't, you don't do all four still, at once. It's still a long shortcut, though. I'm yeah, doing this, it, and now it, I'm doing it, that. It's, it's a not-so-short shortcut. Okay. <laughs> it's free, it's free. Yeah. and it's powerful, mm -hmm. and it can definitely get the job done. Mm -hmm. Well, that's our episode of Twisted Tech TV today. Remember... When the firewall's away, the Trojans will play. So keep that protective software updated. That's Twisted Tech TV. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.